Kia ora. In this short video, we're going to look at how to use scripts and install a user script manager uh, for Music Brains and also for other websites as well. Works for everything. So, um, first of all, I've got this nice fresh uh, install here. I'm going to let's do a search. I'm going to search for Music Brains user scripts. And there's a wiki page that I'm uh, I'm specifically interested in finding, which is this one here. So it's popped up immediately. Guides user script. And this is your go-to, particularly for music brands. Let's zoom in a little bit. Uh, this is going to have everything that you need on it. It's a list of all the scripts that run with music brands, all that import scripts, um, miscellaneous, uh, recordings, make things easier for editing, display cover art. Um, lots of cool stuff, but now just to uh, install our user script manager, we just need this top part here. Um, and this is all pretty, pretty nice and straightforward. What you can do is you can start with your browser at the top here. Now I'm using Chrome, but you might be using one of these others. The steps should be fairly similar in all of them. So I'm going to go to Chrome, and here we can see with a tick which user scripts Work or user script managers work in this browser. So Maxthon, for instance, only works with Violent Monkey and so on. Now I've used Tampa Monkey before, so I'm just going to stick with that for the purposes of this. Click on that. Uh, again, this is for Chrome specifically, uh, but the steps should be similar for your browser as well. So I'm going to click here, add to Chrome, and add extension. Okay, now Tampa Monkey has been added to Chrome. It's been installed, blah, blah, blah. You're of course going to um, be careful with it. Malicious scripts can violate your privacy and act on your behalf. So that is important. You do want to be careful about what scripts you use. But in this case, we're just going to uh, use ones that we know just work on music brands. And while we're here, let me show you how it works. So let's pick one of these fun scripts. The user script manager is, uh, is installed. Um, what shall we choose? Oh, the, the display cover art one is a great one. So I'll show you what it looks like before. Go to uh, musicbrains.org. Let that load. Uh, again, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I'm going to click on this release here and go to the artist. Here we go, Japanese rapper. Now you can see how this page looks and we don't have any cover art here on the left. Now I'm not used to seeing that because I usually use a user script to show that. So here we go, uh, let's use the menu. Here we go, user script cover art. Now, funky illustrated records. I'm gonna click on the download button here. It's gonna take us to this page and now we can click install. Again, this is going to vary depending on your browser, your user script manager, but should be similar. Now, what we want to check here, and now this is a safety precaution. Okay, if, you, if you're not familiar with a script, you're not sure what it does, to check what it includes. Now, this is the pages that it can run on. What you don't want to see here is uh, everything. You know, you, you want to make sure this is locked down, and you can, uh, you can change this after running it, after installing it change it yourself. This just runs on musicbrains.org sites. Uh, you don't want it to, in my case, I don't want it to say uh, include Kiwi Bank, my bank, right? We don't want them to do that. So that all looks good. And that's really all I have to, uh, have to worry about. The rest of it's all uh, spaghetti to me anyway. I'm going to hit install. And now we're going to go back to this artist page. I'm going to reload it. Look at that. Uh, the user script is already doing its work. Done. Um, so we can enable and disable different uh, scripts here. So we've got uh, Tampa Monkey here. So we can see what's running on this page. And we can enable and disable Funky Illustrated Records, which is the script. So if I disable it and then refresh the page, we're going to have it look different. Um, some of these also have. Um, 
here we go we can edit so in this one here we've also got um, so we're, we're getting into the advanced territory now that's really it if you'd like that's what you can do you can you can install your manager and then just start installing these and ena enable and disable as you please through the menu uh, so we're just going to get a bit advanced here and um, Jesus299 who's the author of Funky Illustrated Records has given us some things to edit here as well. So I'm just going to show you what we can do in the options here. So uh, big pics displays big pics, uh, discography and main artist page, small pics displays small pics. Okay, so what I'm going to do, sorry, I'll just uh, re enable that script. Oh, still disabled. There you go, enabled. Okay, here we go, we're gonna reload. Now I only want images in the side here. So I'm going to go here into big pics. I'm gonna change that to false. And then file, save. All right, and then now let's reload. Now I've just got the small pic. So it's just a little demonstration of how um, some scripts have options in them and how easy they are to change. Um, yeah, have fun. Get scripting.